are in Jeffrey Street in Edinburgh, a whiskey and sh- cigar shop. We have tobacco, we have, and we have whiskey. I don't know if you noticed. Do we have? We have a lot of whiskey, don't we? The, um, oh yeah, I've just noticed. And uh, fragrances as well. Tobacco, whiskey, and fragrances. It's all good. It's it's our dream house, isn't it, boys? Yeah, dream house. Yeah. I, I live here. One day, one day. One day. Think, think yeah. about it. This is the dream. Mate, once you start uploading more regularly and you get yeah. the ad revenue, this can all this be yours. Be yeah. So I'm here with um, Killer Frags and Fragmental, and uh, it's amazing to have you both here. I'm really, really grateful. Um, Chris, uh, why the fuck are you here again? Well, you said you better get up to Edinburgh and make a whiskey video with me because I'm I'm drinking, and so let's get pissed. <laughs> That's right, and uh, it's, I've never met you before. I know, oh, first time meeting him. And he's, and he's shorter than me, and I'm really grateful for that. That's so nice of you. It's how polite. See, this is my normal. That's life. his actual. That's yeah. his actual height. Much the same for Amazing. So yeah. anyway, we're here. Yeah. And Killer, why don't you explain what we're doing today? So we're comparing whiskey and fragrances. Whiskey fragrances. Well, fragrances with whiskey notes in. Yes. So yes. we can try. We try. I can't you got speak. it. You got it. Okay, speak. Chris. How about you? Have a go. <laughs> um, all right. I'll have a go. So we are trying to draw parallels between uh, fragr- whiskey fragrances and whiskies, and mm-hmm. try to find similar notes, similar smells, and pair up. Uh, so how many have we got? Five, five altogether. Yeah. Five of our favourite whiskey fragrances to. Uh, five actual whiskies and we're going to taste them and drink them and smell them and have a good time yes and now the third attempt of explaining this concept of this video is we've all brought fragrances five whiskey orientated fragrances or alcohol orientated fragrances and we are going to try and search for whiskies in this shop that hopefully taste and smell exactly the same as the whiskey uh, as the fragrances sorry See, that we've <laughs> I Corey it. said it best I said it best <laughs> Here we are. We have uh, found, we think, the whiskies that are pretty bang on, pretty bang close for the fragrances. So I, uh, let's talk about the fragrances. I brought um, Pure Malt and Angel Share. Pure Malt is obviously very, very, um, both these fragrances are very emotional for me. Pure Malt is the is my, the, the OG, in my opinion, of whiskey-influenced fragrances. I did a beautiful video, I think, about Edinburgh and how much I love it. And then I did a sequel video to that, which is the Angel Share video, about the fact that I moved here and I achieved my dreams. My good friend, Chris, brought Tom Ford Tobacco tobacco, and I know that this is a really, really important uh, fragrance to you. You've had some really, really great times of it. You've also brought Veronda, which I think is a great synergy between your affection and love for whiskey and, um, you know, whiskey in general, and I think that it's absolutely brilliant. And Corey brought CH Men Privé. Yeah. Yeah, good. Well done. Cheers, yeah. The best one, yeah. You made an effort. No, I mean, there was an effort, that one there. It, it was yeah, an attempt. I mean, it, at least he brought a, like, a, a fragrance. <laughs> At least I turned up, you know. You know he turned, <laughs> he turned up. I showed up. That's so we're going to all taste these whiskies and, and see if they match the fragrances that we've brought uh, by a smell and taste, but we can't do it yet. Why? <laughs> because there's a special guest coming. <gasps> There actually is. Yeah. Because yeah, there actually is. What? Um, because this is uh, not just a fragrance video. This is also a tie-in to From Here to There. Jeffrey Street, this shop, actually sponsored our film, and so this is our sort of paying them back but also the fact that I freaking love this shop it's an amazing shop so many amazing uh, whiskies and cigars we saw you uh, smell some of the tobacco earlier oh, amazing yeah. tobacco as well. they, uh, this shop has been so supportive of my drinking habits and my film <laughs> so of course I want to do a video but yes there is a special guest coming and she, and she will be arriving very soon hi I'm Andromeda Davidson I play Faye in the movie From Here to There It's about a young boy who builds a teleporter 
trying to impress a girl he really likes. Here's the exclusive trailer. It's a teleporter! What? I built a teleporter, and it can essentially take us anywhere on the planet. I think I'd like to go home. You don't believe me, do you? Of course I don't. Casper, you're acting like a bloody idiot. Port and starboard is, magnetically speaking, a real thing. There's connection between the poles and the gravitational core of the planet. You can transport matter from one place to another. You can, in fact, teleport from here to there. If we hold hands, there's more chance of being in sync with each other's kinetic energy. The last time our hands touched, everything blew up. Okay. Yeah, so essentially we're going to now smell pure malt, uh, which is a whiskey that all of us like, all three of us enjoy. Be interested to see your reaction. We're all having a strippage. Yeah, yeah. We are all great as well, and we're getting a woman's reaction to a fragrance, and that gets views, doesn't okay, it? Very... That gets views, <laughs> yeah. Do you see the whiskey influence? I like it. I like it. Amazing. Yeah. Good. What do you get from it? Fruity? This things. Mine's automatically going like perfume, like like expensive perfume, like Dior. I don't know if that makes ah, any sense. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm. So Hexa. Mm. So you think the like smells good quality? Oh, yeah. yeah. That is quite similar. It's quite citrusy. Yeah. yeah. So if everybody wants to smell the whiskey, yeah. Is there a similarity? Yeah. 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 It's more okay. alcoholic, but one. It? Yeah, it's definitely. More of a sting from the whiskey. I always think with pure malt that rather than it being a very realistic whiskey accord, it's more of a uh, like a, f a fun recreation of a whiskey accord. You know uh, when you were a, a kid and you can get a little beer bottle sweets? Yeah. Mm. And they sort of taste like a beer, but in like a candy kind of way? Yeah, yeah. Pure malt is like the whiskey version of that for me, rather than really realistic. I don't know what you think about that. Flavours come from a sort of a level of sugar that can come from particular grain and the distillation process. So that candied flavour is very, very common in a lot of whiskies. Actually, particularly this one, which is going to have a... It has a citrus nature that comes through. There's also a saltiness. So a good way to look at it, I'd say, well, there's a trick to smelling whisky, which is... Um, it's pretty, I've been taught this many, 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 many times, um, but surprisingly few people actually know it. Smell is inherently layered. So you have light, denser and dense smells when it comes to alcohol. So you always want to anger your glass, smell the top, the middle and the bottom. The top layer has a pretty floral flavour, the middle has a woody spicy flavour and the bottom is where you find your alcohol. And if it's smoky, it's where you find the smokes. So on the top of this one, for instance, it's almost a raisiny, buttery flavour. There's mm. also that sort of lemon rind, um, Satsuma citrus. So what's the name of this one? Oh, so this first one here is a Bunahaven 11 year old. Mm. Bunahaven's quite an unusual whisky. It's from the island of Isla on the west coast in the, in the Hebrides. However, Bunahaven is one of the few distilleries on the island that don't smoke their whiskey. So you get a full coastal range of flavours. So you're going to get salt, citrus, there's undertones of brininess coming through as well. It's also matured in bourbon and sherry casks. Isn't it? Right. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Jesus. It's very woody, mm. very spicy. Oh. Earthy flavours coming through, but at the very back, that tangerine plum almost really? is like No place. Yeah. No place. It takes all the way down. Well, a bit. A little bit. But <laughs> I mean, it's just actually. Oh, it's it's ah. So it just, the alcohol just burns away in your mouth before yeah. you, you swallow it. Right. Closer in your mouth, your saliva reacts with it. Ah. It's all burn when you swallow That reaction, if you get the oh, triple yeah. take bottles, yeah. it's just your body reacting to poison. Which is what I end all is. Tasty, tasty poison. Well, <laughs> tasty poison. poison. Yeah. Really um, fun poison. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm now realising that pure malt is not like this at all. This is so pure malt is soapy virtually compared to. Uh, yeah, compared to the um, the intensity of the whiskey. Yeah, it's quite light, isn't it? Yeah. Pure malt. Yeah. But then I say that can complement. Yeah. And then you don't have anything too heavy. I mm. um, would to compared with the whiskey, so that yeah. sort of light soapy flavour will bring out almost a, an extra creaminess. So, is pure malt the same as this? Um, I 
going, I agree with what you just said. I think that obviously there's a little mm. sort of fruity whiskey connection, but I think the the taste when we're drinking this in the way that it's supposed to be drunk, mm. um, it's very different to when we were just smelling from the bottles. So I would say that there's a greater distance between pure malt and this than what I initially thought. Nomina, as an officer of both whiskey and fragrance, what are your thoughts? Probably the same, like, I think when you first, like, yeah. the whiskey and that, it's like, completely different, and then when you, like, do the drink and then the breathe, like, it kind of more smells like soap instead of, like, your fruitiness. Yeah. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Pure malt is a Prada fragrance, who would have thought? <laughs> So this one's very interesting. This is quite cognac-y. Uh, in fact, I'd say it's quite inspired by cognac. Just pass that on to that too. Thank you. Yeah. A mm. lot going on. Quite floral, quite sweet. A bit of honey. It's gorgeous. It is beautiful. Anyone else get sort of an orange flavour in the top of this one? Yeah. 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 Blood orange. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I would actually also, as well as the strips, everyone smell the, the spray of this because you get more of a sense of the, the dry down. So it's a, a little more richer and deeper version of of the fragrance. I think it's quite different off the sprayer than it is off the strip. Yes, that is more like raisins and... Yeah, uh, uh, candied uh, fruits yeah. and, yeah. It's very nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm. It's very caramel, like, you know, sweet it's caramel. Just it's like tablet. Mm. It's brilliant. Mm. That's gorgeous. Okay, smells Hector. Um, like money. Yeah. So, yeah. It yeah. we've gone for the Van Harven? Yes, another Van Harven. Van Harven. Sorry. So, this is Van Harven. It's a limited edition called the North. Um, or Unuch, <laughs> um, and is featured in wine casks. It's going to bring out a very similar cognac y, brandy like smells and flavours. So I love Van Harmen very much. Oh, one of my all time favourites. One of my all time favourites. Mm -hmm. And this is the. Do you recognise this? I've got one of these. I told you. Oh, yeah. I've got the miniature one. Right. Um, oh, yeah, okay. Which is the 12 year. Mm, and yeah. I think this is a good whiskey for beginners. Oh, absolutely. If yeah. you have a whiskey novice, you can give them a bit of heaven, and it's a gateway drug. It's it's literally a gateway drug. drug. Uh -huh. oh, that's very similar, isn't it? Yeah. That caramel thing is there. Yeah. Should we take it? Oh, absolutely. Okay. okay. Mm. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you, Mark. Yeah. Cheers. Mmm. Oh, wow. Now we're going to try something a little bit different this time. Okay. It's on the table is a little pipette. And you want to add just three drops of water into your whiskey. This is what's known as a cast strength whiskey, so it's at full strength. The oh, water yeah. will lower its alcohol content, move the oil to the surface of the whiskey apart to release the flavour the oil is suppressing. So full cask strength means less alcohol? Higher. Uh, so higher alcohol, alcohol. sorry, right. So I thought you said lower. Uh, how close is this to angel share? I think it's on the money. Yeah. I think it is pretty much like on the money. Mm. It's a good match. It's we found it officially yeah. that this is um, pretty much the exact same to Angel Share. So that's Baronda, right? Baronda. Mm. This is Nassimata's Baronda. One of uh, the most talked about fragrances when it comes to comparing things to whiskey. Mm. I don't personally get it. Really? Not as much, no. I think this is probably the I most realistic whiskey. Really? Okay, so I do see it, but it's mm. it's pushing it a little bit. Do you know what I get? I Mr. Sheen. What this? Yeah. Oh, polish. Yeah, I get exactly that. Like, that. Yeah, I don't like get that. balsamic furniture polish. It is a like furniture polish. polish. Then the green. Okay, now I get it a bit more. Now that oh, it's something's coming through, like absinthe or something. It's fancy. Aniseed, yeah, aniseed. Okay. Ah, it's, it's like something peeking through. Now I'm not paranoid. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> you're, you're, you're looking peer at me. You. And I'm like, we don't want to peer pressure you into thinking that two smells are the same smell. That's a unique peer pressure if ever there was one. And you will. <laughs> no, okay, fine. <laughs> it's all right. It doesn't matter. Imagine the biscuitiness, like biscuit. Can you see it? Oh yeah, absolutely. It, it's the digestive biscuit in the whiskey. It's like honey beeswaxiness of the um, perfume. And then, yeah, no, I'd say those are almost identical. Oh, come on, Andromeda. I feel you should <laughs> <laughs> So tell us about this whiskey. Mm, no, this one here. <laughs> an Edinburgh whiskey. It's, well, it's an Edinburgh bottler. So this is a very, very limited bottling of only 236 bottles. And it's all about honey, butter, heather. There's 
aniseed nutmegs, you'll find towards the end of it, dark chocolate, cocoa powder. I love that explosion when you first have mm. the whiskey, mm -hmm. any whiskey. Mm -hmm. First of all, you put your mouth, it's like nothing, then bang. Fire. It's a bit of a, a hay, a hay like yes. taste accord. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So, it's autumnal. Um, mm. That's my favourite. Harvest time flavour. That's my favourite yeah. one so far. It's brilliant, isn't it? It's nice. In fact, it's almost oh. pumpkin. Oh, really good. Mm. So, can you still buy that bottle now? Yes, yeah, I think they're probably down to around about 30 of them left on earth. So, I mean, so I'm does that drive that the price up then? It's if not too bad, it's, it's I think around about £98 a bottle. Oh. Which is not too bad. Not okay. bad. Uh, independent bottled whiskies never quite attain the same price as if it's official release. So this next one is to uh, the whiskey that we think uh, smells and tastes maybe like Tobacco Oud by Tom Ford. And look at the colour. You can already tell by the colour. Look at that. Look at that colour on there. That's dark. A tobacco -y whiskey. Brilliant stuff. Right, tobacco. Right. No, 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 we made that over. Yeah. yeah. That's for you, Hector. Sorry. Thank you. That's nice. That's amazing. Really? Like Good smell, isn't it? It's got a lot of sort of like attitude, hasn't it? Which has been your favourite fragrance so far? This one. No way. Uh, tobacco tobacco wood. Yeah, smell the bottle. Yeah. Ooh, looks like this. I like it. You like the. The yeah. ones that smell like tobacco and whiskey. <laughs> who knew? Who knew? Yeah. Right, okay. Oh, yeah, mm, I can see that. I, yeah, you see it. Yes! yes. Woodiness <laughs> comes out in that. Just... <laughs> I think that so far, Angel Share has been the best, but I think yeah. this one could be a contender. Smell wise, I think it's very close. Good health. Good health. Mm. Which is ironic drinking whiskey. For <laughs> long life. Mmm. Right, I'm, I'm just going to say, wow, these are absolute oh. fucking bangers. Wow, Jesus. The finish on that, right? Mm. Oh my God, is that like smoky? Yes. Yeah, that yes. is smoky. Spot on. Spot on. Spot on. Spot on. Spot on. Yeah. This is Tyler. I'm not joking. This is, I should have said, the distillery. <laughs> this is Strathmill. Strathmill is a space site, if I remember rightly. Who is it? I thought space sites were a little more no, mellow. Not all space sites will be. Some space sites are designed to have minute amounts of phenol. Get a bit of a smoky Frankfurter sausage vibe. Yes. Oh, this one. Yeah. Barbecue. It's smoky bacon. Yeah, smoky bacon, yeah. Now, it, taste wise, I think it's smokier than what tobacco it smells yeah, it like. Oh, I think actually, on the smell mm. test, the closest one is the next one, which is called it is, fragrance. It is almost yeah. identical, I yeah. think. Right. Okay, that's a lot. This is a big finish. It's <laughs> a big whiskey. That is literally CH Mender. Yeah, this is my favourite. Oh, yeah. That's ridiculous. And it even hey. comes in a oh, genius yes. flask bottle. Flask. Mate, you've got us into whiskey. We might, we might get you into fragrance. Quite easily, I'd love to say. This is such a good fragrance. I, I need to wear this more. Do you see it? But the match is incredible. No. On the smell. Yeah. I think it is. Yeah. I think it's like one to one. Yeah. They're almost spot on. If, yeah. if yeah, not yeah. spot on. It's incredible, isn't it? It's nuts. I never thought that this fragrance, the one that you berated him for yeah. bringing compared to our Expensive niche fragrances. This is the one that this is the we one matched the closest, in yeah. smell, anyway. Yeah. You smell the, the strip. It's wow. Melon. If you smell the glass, it's not melon. No, no, it is. It is melon. It's sort of the it difference is, between it's so weird how similar it is. Oh it's just God. so crazy. It's sort of watermelon, then they called it the the, the the rock melons, the yellow melons. Honeydew. Honeydew melons. Thank you. You know, it's so close. If I it's was smelling these two things blind and I didn't know which was yeah. the whiskey and which was the fragrance, mm. I might struggle to tell them. Oh, really? And banana. Banana, banana. Ah, yes. yes. Tropical right. There is a. There's a wow, banana. Yeah, I wouldn't yeah. have thought that. No, actually, no, if you tilt it like that, it does smell really like banana. But it's like um, the banana is, for, for me specifically, the hard, uh, you know, banana when it gets hardened. It's yes. like, you know what it's like? It's not like the banana in fruit and fiber. It's not like the banana in fruit and fiber. It does. Spot on. And that's the one. Yeah. Cuts with that song. Yeah. How much bottle is that? Uh, I'm going to buy it right now. Can I remember now? I think, remember, it's about 65, 75. That's not bad. Mm. 60% that's, that's amazing. Take it, buy it. Yeah. Or free? Yeah. Just take yeah. it. So which one do we think, overall, yeah. smell and taste, is the closest match that to one. the fragrance? That one. Yeah. And it's got so much flavour in that one. Yeah. yeah. It's, I, I can't never... believe it. You've bloody won this. I, I know. You've won this. Well. Is Let's it bad if I see the Tommy Ford? The Tommy, Tommy Ford. Tommy Ford, Ford. that's Tommy, what I say, Tommy yeah. Ford, Tommy, yeah. Tommy Hilfiger Ford. <laughs> Tommy, Tommy Ford. Um, no, yes. no, it's uh, like, so, oh, but overall, all right, forget the whiskey for a second, which was your favourite fragrance, yeah. just out of interest? Tommy Ford. 
Tom Ford. The Tommy no, Ford. You, the Tommy Ford. I'm really happy that you enjoy <laughs> You say it. what you want, Andromeda. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Amazing that you love the tobacco. It was fantastic. Which was your favourite? Out of the fragrances. I know which one it was. I think I know. Yeah. So that's two. And then, no, my absolute favourite was the, the Tom Ford. Ah, oh, the other winner. The but, but, but you enjoyed oh, no, the Angel no. Share as well. The Angel Share was magnificent, yeah. absolutely fantastic. I think the Tom Ford has a better overall structure and backbone to it because of the, the, the wood and tobacco yes. in that. I, I think yeah. I've, I've always leaned towards sort of tobacco y, woody scents mm. and incense things and that sort right. of stuff. Whilst the, the um, Angel Share is brilliant. Yeah. It's a slight tad too fruity for me. Well done. Yeah. Yeah, brilliant. That's Thanks, Hector. Good. That was great. Yeah. yeah. Cheers. Great. Right, well, um, thank you to Hector and thank you to Jeffrey Street. Oh, hang on. You can't hear me. <laughs> <laughs> so, thank you very much to Hector and Jeffrey Street. Thank you so much to um, Fragmental. Killer Frags. <laughs> yeah, fra Fragmental. Killer Mental. And, and K Killer Frags for coming. And thank you very much to Andromeda Davison. Star of star From of Here to There. From Here to There, yeah. which is coming out. In, on December 25th, it's coming out on Christmas Day. Uh, we don't have the platforms um, confirmed yet, but it will be out on Christmas Day. Uh, and so you can watch it, and uh, all very excited. And uh, I don't know if you knew this, but Killer Frags edited the film. He actually edited yeah. the film. That's not a joke, he edited the film. Can you believe it? So, um, Thanks, cheers. No, it's all right. So <laughs> thank you very much. Yeah, like it's a bad thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he didn't, it's no joke, he actually edited the film. So, um, fantastic, wonderful whiskies. Which was our favorite whiskey? I think it was. That was mine. That was my favourite. Oh well, I think that probably that was really that was great. That. I liked the smoky one that ma ma matched with tobacco oud and this. Mm, I'd maybe go the smoky, the smoky one. Really? Mm, I didn't one think that it was would... like Tommy Ford. Mm, that, that one. Yeah. yeah. That's really good. The smoky one. Real yeah. fine. You can like taste it. If that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, it had a great complexity, that one, that I enjoyed. So I would recommend that um, if you can buy any of these uh, whiskies and you're a fan of these fragrances, then buy them, and if you can, buy them from Jeffrey Street because you know that they actually stock them. Uh, <laughs> so that's really, really good. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I'm the Fragrance Apprentice, and see you all in the next one. Everybody say goodbye. Bye. 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 Cheers. Bye. Cheers.